The temperature is well below zero in Belgium this week, and the conditions are particularly difficult for Veronique, a 60-year-old grandmother who can't afford to use her heating. But today, she has no choice but to switch it on. I'm using the heating today. I put it on because it's still minus 10 degrees. Otherwise, I usually don't put it on before 4 or 5 in the afternoon. And when I go to sleep, I turn it off for the whole night. And I continue doing this every day because it's so expensive. Energy poverty is a vicious cycle. Veronica is a former hairdresser and cafe owner. But now, she's having to calculate her heating minutes on top of all her other expenses. And for her, it's very difficult. Sometimes I am eating only pasta or eggs for a while because I can't afford to eat anything else. At the beginning of the month, I go and get a steak because I want a good steak. Otherwise, I can't afford it. But when you can afford it, it feels good. This uncertainty also affects her family life, and she can no longer see her six grandchildren during the winter. When the little ones came, they bathed in Paris so we could save money. I'm careful with the water too. I will take a shower, but the next day I wash myself using the sink to avoid using too much water. Energy poverty is a serious problem in the EU. In 2019, over 30 million Europeans couldn't afford to heat their homes which is the equivalent to the population of the Czech Republic, Hungary and Austria combined. And the pandemic is only serving to make the situation worse. In fact, the Covid crisis has two main impacts. The first one is drop in income. All the people who are on short-time work, who lose their jobs. And the other is that all the health measures, including curfews, confinement, teleworking, also means that people are spending much more time at home. And as a result, there is a need to heat homes more, and we end up with European families who before the crisis were not very rich, but who survived well and managed to heat their homes well, and who today, in the COVID crisis, are unable to heat their homes, which particularly encourages airborne diseases. In the short term, Authorities could provide emergency aid to people, but the long-term solution is to renovate buildings, making them more efficient. And this is exactly what the European Commission is proposing, with plans for a so-called green renovation wave already underway. Christopher Pitches, Euronews, Brussels.